pinch punch the first of the month and no return. A thump and a kick for being so quick. It's the first of June, everyone. We've had four or five days of this sort of weather. Um, I've been in most of it, but uh, I have been going out for shorter walks. But today, this isn't what, well, it is quite a big walk, actually. It will be by the end of the day. Um, it's not what I call one of my most massive walks, though, but uh, I should be taking it slower. I'm on Ch I'm at Cheddar. I'm going up the gorge, at the back way. Quieter route for a minute. My backpack is quite heavy because I've got to carry lots of water because where I'm going there's no water um, for most of the walk. So you have to take it with you. And of course it's very hot. You drink more. I've also got two oranges. I've taken three, I'm taking three medium sized bottles of water and I've just got to remember to keep one bottle for the return journey. Make sure. It's cool in this bit, but it's going to get hotter, but I will be in what's called Longwood. Hopefully by midday might be just after and then uh, that will be cool but I got to, I'm, I'll be going up walking up one the south side of the gorge so it will be exposed only for a bit it's only that bit going up then you start going down through woods again so this isn't what I call going to be a very exposed walk um, a lot of it will be in the shade but this first bit and the early part of the morning, well, late, what time is it now? It's about, um, let me just check the time a minute. Much needed walk this. It's six minutes past ten. So it's mid-morning. I'm allowing myself two hours to get to the long woods because it, I'm, it's all uphill. The first good hour of this walk is all uphill and climbing the gorge there's going to be people about um, I've come up this back way just so but the weather brings people out you see and it's um, half term as well but I thought I've got to get out because if it forecasts rain after today maybe not loads of it but if you go out for rain you've got to carry different clothing I've still got myself a shower coat, very light thin one in my bag. I've got a, a, a thin warm jumper. You have to carry all these things in our country, it's not, nothing's guaranteed. You should always make sure when you go out anyway that you've got some sort of protective clothing in case you do it yourself. You'll need to keep warm. So I've got three bottles of water, I've got my usual picnic, I've got some nice strong mature cheddar cheese, some lovely variety coloured tomatoes, I've got um, <clears throat> hoops and cheeselets, um, chocolate bar of galaxy chocolate, I've got fruit bars, um, grain bars, um, so I've got a variety of stuff. I don't know if the tower will be open today, and I'm not sure if I'm going to bother going up in it. I don't always go in it. Um, if there's a lot of people, I probably won't bother. I've always seen the legs of people. Not everyone knows this route up, and they pay to come up here. You don't really need to. So this is just the introduction to the start of the walk. I'm not going to do a lot of videoing really probably I'll do bits because um, I've already videoed these walks hundreds of times and I think I've already been up here I don't know if I've I've got a feeling I have been up here in the last six months when there was that 
an opportunity to get on the bus, but I can't remember because time goes so fast. <sighs> I thought I'd like to do this circle round to Longwood. Oh, what I do, I go on the top of the gorge, down the wood, across the Cheddar Road, towards Black Rock, through Black Rock, over to Longwood, around Longwood, back up the old pathway, the old Mendip Way, to Piney Slights. Go through Piney Slights Farm, then go down through the wood for Cheddar, and hopefully get a nice big fat ice cream when I reach the bottom. So I'm emerging now at these old yew trees. This place will get busier and busier. More and more people will come today. It's, I've already seen people, so the car park wasn't very full when I first arrived. But already there's people, you see. There's the tower. Don't think you can go up in it today. Right, over and out everyone. Right, I'm just going to do a little video before lots of people start arriving. People behind me, people... Every time I put the video on, somebody comes. Every time. Anyway, I'm halfway up the gorge. More than halfway. It's nice and cool here, actually. It's the first time I felt the breeze. It's lovely. So we've got the Hanksbridge Reservoir. Crook's Peak over there, Brent Knoll. Right in the distance there, I'll zoom in, you'll see Glastonbury Tor through those bushes, right through at the back. It doesn't come out very clear, it's very misty, but there's Glastonbury Tor. I'll take a picture of that in a minute. Just doing short videos, this is just a short video of me on part of the gorge. I've still got a way to go. I've got to get right up there yet. Gorges down there. You can't see so much actually in the once the leaves come. Um, I've been here over the winter months I think and um, on one occasion anyway and it was, there was no leaves. Right over and out a minute. Right then. I've just come up Cheddar Gorge, no, no great hassle, I didn't think. I've struggled a lot more in the past. I think walking's definitely out my breathing and not smoking. <sighs> definitely. I reckon I'm fitter in lots of ways now because I stopped smoking. It can take 10 years. So anyway, here we go. We're at the, I've just had a little tiny bit of cheese and tomato here and a bar of chocolate and a nice drink of water. I don't feel ready for my hat yet because I'm going to be going in the shade in a minute. There's, people are starting to come out in force now. So basically I've uh, thought I'd have a bit of cheese now. I felt peckish for food. I felt peckish for... Um, you know, something a bit more substantial. I'm going to keep bumping into people that are sat around there I've bumped into already. But this is, a, to me, you don't have to do that, but this is all right. Come this way. This is one of the routes I take when I'm doing in the winter. When I go up, roll all the way along this track, cross the road, and then go up all over the fields, which I could, in theory, do today. But I bet you the cow's out, so I can't risk it. That's one way of getting, keeping away from the crowds. Because it would get cheddar is a tourist spot. So, it'll, cheddar itself will be heaving by midday. The gorge itself and where I've just come from, when I walked up in peace, there'll be lots of people soon. As long as they come equipped with water. Because what they've got to realise is it's, it is hot, though there's a lovely breeze. When I first came up, there's no, you can't feel the breeze down in Cheddar itself. And you come up here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? But what happens when there's a lot of people out, you end up having to walk with people, really, you know. 
don't have the place to yourself. You know, so I'll be going right over there. There's a path over there. I'll, some people there like walking with families. So, and there's a couple on a rock. I'll bump into them in a minute. It'd be like a coinciding type thing. Yeah, I'm really glad to be out. I just, I'm not going to talk about my personal life, my private life and my family, but there's been some quite dramatic, traumatic events going on. And, uh, you know, I've needed to come out more than ever so that I can heal and cope with whatever confronts me, whatever comes. But anyway, I'm not going on about it all the time. I just thought I just mentioned a bit. It's for my own benefit. These are my reflective diaries, but I sometimes I edit stuff out. I will talk about it freely, but then edit it out. <clears throat> but today, I don't actually want to talk too much. But I just want to make a quick reference. Some nice bluebells, look. Another gate there. If you go through these gates or that style back there, you get back to Cheddar. This is a nice little walk, though, this way round, I think. I've just, just seen one little family come in this way. And uh, they might want to do the same. Some people do like to avoid people, tell the truth. Or they might be on a circular, coming up through there, going back round. Yeah, I've got... I've got time on. This is what I call a medium-sized walk, really, what I'm doing today. I mean, the hardest bit's been done. That's going up Cheddar Gorge. <sighs> that's, uh, that's it. The, the hard stuff. I'm not going down here, but this is the way I would come. I don't know if they're keeping the cows out. Looks like some dry cow pack, but normally they have cows down here and in the field over there. I was hoping the skies would give me a little bit more wispiness. <sighs> and I'm hoping the cat that will turn out on the camera because I've been thinking it's coming out. I've been videoing blue skies last week and it came out bloody white and yellow. <sighs> I have reset the camera since, but I reckon I pressed buttons by accident. <sighs> Now this gives me hope for Longwood when I see these bluebells. This gives me hope that the bluebells and the wild garlic will still be there. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of video. I'm just doing bits and pieces. Just joining them up. Right. Okay, I think I might take a photograph of here with some wispy clouds there. Over and out.